Welcome back to Ape Escape 3. You have Aki, been saving the I know how to save don't. games. I've played so many of them. Leave me alone. And we're gonna go to the Apinator. Midnight Bay. What, not the Ape Tannic? Nope. It's uh, like a 30s themed level. Something like that. I don't know what it's really spoofing, spoofing off of, but... In the Navy. You bet. But yeah, here's the Sailor Monkey. Yes, you can sail the seven seas. I'm sorry, I'll stop that immediately. I have no idea what you're referencing. I don't either. All I know is it's a song. Whenever we try to come up with jokes, it's like something that neither of us have seen. <laughs> But anyway, let's do some fishing. And this is how you fish in Ape Escape. I think this is how everyone should fish. Almost. Because then we can catch naked monkeys. Yeah, pretty much. With fish on their butts. I'm trying to get a good view of that, but there we go. Alright. Food shouldn't feel like anything because it's already dead. I'm just saying. Hmm. Good point. Like, meat might be murder, but you're probably not trying to eat the animal while it's still alive. Like that guy, uh, who is on bath salts? <laughs> Topical yeah. humor, anyway. Topical humor from, like, six months ago. <laughs> Shut up! That's how far I watch the news! Is I, I wait because I hate ongoings and yeah I'm you know there might be updates to stories I gotta wait until all the news is in before I can judge them. <laughs> so by the time you get up to events that are like dude did right you know now. that um, September 11th like 19 oh 19 2002. 11? I mean, 2001? Yeah, 2001. There were some planes that flew into a tower. Those towers aren't there anymore. Scientific. I actually feel like that joke is probably more true than intended because that's basically how everyone in America treats it. They treat it like it just happened. Probably, yeah. Seems like a lot of people treat it that way. But anyway, lots of cars. It kind of reminds me of that. It'll bleed. And, um... <laughs> yeah. Lots of cars here, too. Um, this I is... would love to see how it'll bleed would have worked in the 1930s instead of the 19 fictional whatever year it was. Good point, yeah. Anyway, this monkey is dressed like the Terminator, I believe, before he turns into the Terminator thing. The Snatcher looking thing. Technically snatchers were terminator looking things, but I who cares? Know. It's time to steer by driving into walls. And this is the final racing segment of the game. The final track. I think it's easier. I assume you're happier than I am because it's painful to me just watching it. Yeah. I'm not watching it. I'm watching the audio tracks on Audacity. <laughs> oh, that one looks like boobs. Oh, now it's just a flat line. Oh, no, oh, 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 no. Okay, oh, yep, there we go. That looks good. Oh, are we, are we still racing? Okay, this sucks balls. I hate these fucking things. These segments are so stupid. No, 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 Tiff, you gotta yell more. That's the professional way to do a Let's Play. I'm going to rape these monkeys in their goddamn cars. With my car. Great. Now, if I was smart, I would probably just wait until they came around again. But let's speed the shit up because nobody wants to watch this stupid. And this sounds movie. like that one, like, Nameco game that it's it's on the tip of my tongue. What the hell is it called? 
Is it a racing game? Yeah, um, what was it called? Uh, I can't think of anything. I'm, I'm trying to think, it was like an 8 bits. And I kind of had that pseudo 3D. Oh, is it bump and jump? No, that wasn't it. Crap. I know that it usually, that like when uh, whenever Namco releases a uh, Pac-Man collection, it's usually included with it. Oh, fuck. Um. Crap. It's been so long since I played my N64. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. It's a Namco racing game. I can't think of that. Off the top of my head. Also, this monkey's eyes clips through his hat. I think they've had a few. I know they had like. Or was Pac Man just like a cameo in some arcade Mario Kart game? I don't even know. I like Pac Man. The adventure games aren't very fun, but the, I really like the, that one I do a Let's Play of. Oh yeah, that really weird one where Pac-Man just sat around and... You play a slingshot. <laughs> you play as a disembodied slingshot. Yes, it's the best thing ever. Best game ever. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. I mean, the whole game is about torturing Pac-Man so he does menial tasks. That is the best fucking thing ever. <laughs> Sounds like a great I think idea. more games need to have you play as a disembodied sl slingshot. In order to torture the protagonist. Sounds like a good idea to me. Five hundred dollars. Game of the year, ten out of ten. I'd give it that, yeah. Better than the games coming out nowadays. But then again, the most recent game I played was probably Red Dead Redemption. Oh, Tales of Graces. Tales of Graces. Yeah, it's Man, all... you're gonna love it once we let's play it. <laughs> as long as I don't have to actually play it. Also, the, um, <laughs> really obvious. That is a robot with the ability to sink into the floor. Yeah. So, it must be a ghost bot. I don't know, but... Actually, I just noticed they only do that when you're, like, a distance from them. At a certain distance from them. Uh, it seems that... Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with, like, the map rendering. It might actually be because I'm playing on a PS3, but I don't know. I have one of the early PS3s where you can play all the PS2 games on it and stuff. Or at Instead least of paying an extra $10 for Gungrave Overdose. They put Gungrave Overdose on PSN, but not the original. The that, that baffles me. Why... It's like the original controlled weird, sure. But... That's gonna, that's gonna be your first let's play, isn't it? Uh, once I get the recording equipment, I'm going to have to bother you to show me what the hell you use, and then I'm pretty much going to have to build my own computer at some point. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be down the line. I'll be sure to link you. Well, you're already linked on my channel, but you don't have any videos right now. Or any one, any of them that are worth watching. <laughs> you do have like like quite a quite an extensive favorites list, though. A lot of which have probably been removed by this point. Yeah. Like not by me, but just like the videos just disappear. Yeah. Off YouTube. Of YouTube. Forever alone, monkey. I'll be looking forward to that gun grave, though. See how good you are compared to me. Probably quite a bit better because I'm not very good at shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em, beat 'em ups, whatever. I really don't know what qualifies as shoot 'em up because it really did seem more like a beat 'em up where you just happen to use guns. Is that enough to qualify something as a shoot 'em up? I'd I don't say know. So. You still have a couple. You can still hit them in a regular gun grave, but <laughs> oh, you can do that in overdose too. But in overdose, it's pointless. There's some enemies in over... Uh, anyway, next, back to this game, um... Back to an crates, actually good game. Crates, boxes, um... Trains. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the reason why it wasn't called the Ape Tannic. We already had a Titanic reference. Yep. I don't... I really don't know what this is a reference to, but I don't watch a lot of older movies, so... I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies in general. Nah, I don't either. 
I, I forgot how to get uh, to get inside the ship. But we'll see this in a little bit. <coughs> Let's go catch some more monkeys. Stealthfully. Hey, there's Keiichi. I forget things in three minutes, too. I like Keiichi. Keiichi Mayabara. Main character. Well, okay. Pseudo main character of Higurashi. Did I, I was gonna I say, I can make references you don't get to, but then I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've done it before, in this in this video. Well, maybe not in this one, but previous ones. I forgot them already. Nah, who cares. See, I am just like that monkey that was listed. I forget things in three minutes. Well, I can also kill a guy with a bat in five minutes. Higurashi reference again, but anyway... And uh, here's me failing at trying to get up on this platform. So uh, let's let's go this way. Lasers. Get this part and ratchet and clank. Yeah, if you hit the lasers, you don't take any damage, but it does spawn one enemy, and you have to go all. Oh the no! Way. Yeah. Oh, one enemy. It spawns one enemy, and you have to go all the way back and step on this thing and dodge the lasers. Now let's see if we can do this. Dodge. Hmm. There we go. That's probably the hardest puzzle in this game. Because you gotta watch your legs when they uh, swing forward there. Can I say that the audio is kind of confusing because K says one more, and he means like, oh boy, one more to the collection or whatever, but he says it's, and I just think that means there's only one left in the level. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It, 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 he is... I don't know. I prefer playing as Yumi. She kind of does seem like the main character a little bit more with like... She's more related with Monkey Pink and... Her cutscenes are way better. <laughs> well, okay. As, so better, they probably as best just, as they can be. So they probably just have a male character because... Some idiot thought that people couldn't play it if it only had a female character. Yeah, I mean, given the target audience, I can see that, but... Mm -hmm. Probably a bunch of little boys. But then I can think of a lot of situations where male main characters are forced onto the creators where it was not necessary. Yeah. Cough, turn a Gundam, cough. Yep, yep. I, I get you. Granted, that's kind of a bad example because it's Gundam. The main character really gives a shit. Well, I was going to say because the main character is originally supposed to be a woman, and then they changed that because, duh, and the creator got back at them by, um, by cross-dressing the main character constantly. Right. Speaking of Terminator references. What's the Terminator reference here? I don't know if there is one. He just said something about a new model. Well, yeah, I, I kind of got that, but I didn't. I don't remember. I, I watched one of the Turn in, Terminator movies, and I don't remember where Arnold Schwarzenegger kicks a golden statue of a monkey. Maybe that's just me, though. Arnold Schwarzenegger shouldn't always be kicking golden statues of monkeys while governing California. That would be the best movie ever. <laughs> and he by plays as him. I mean, complete shit, but. You'd still watch it. I'd watch it just because Arnold Schwarzenegger. Looking pretty good. I think that's why a lot of people watch the movies that he's in, though. Surprisingly, no choppers in that level. So I guess it was a Terminator reference. I feel less stupid. Yeah, but I feel like I have to face palm after that. Hey, listen up. Also, don't get excited yet. Next more. This new one is going to make your dreams come true. It's called Cyber Ace. 
since you're a boy, we'll call it the Thunder Ace. Its specialties are the Electro Pulse Attack and Mid Air Dash. I feel like there's something I could say here, but I'm just not going to go there. This is probably. This is a really nice morph, but it has really annoying music. And it looks fucking retarded. And it retarded. turns you into a. What happens when a Gundam crossbreeds with a Power Ranger? Yeah. Now, the Thunder Ace, or I'm just gonna call it the Cyber Ace, but the, the Cyber Ace, uh. You can hover mid air completely with it, and you can also capture uh, multiple monkeys at the same time. The capture on it is a little bit weird. Uh, you can miss, and uh, the monkeys can dodge it pretty easily. And uh, I accidentally hit the phone. But anyway, the attack, if you jump in mid air and you use the attack, you'll keep floating there for a while. And there are, you can keep attacking until your time runs out. So you can like hover through the entire level. So you can basically just spend 30 minutes just... Yeah. Or 30 seconds just flinging... Mm -hmm. It also has a mid -air dash. Like that. That mid-air dash can also kill enemies, but you have to get on there. Uh, he seriously oh, looks yeah. like a giant robot from the 70s. He does, yeah. This is really a nice uh, form for killing baddies from far away, but I still prefer the Miracle Ninja for catching monkeys really fast. <coughs> but whatever floats your boat. This is, this is a nice... Uh, both of them are really nice morphs, though. Especially for platforming. So let's get Sp Spectre. Yeah, this will, like, have some contrived excuse that will immediately lead into having more of the game. Okay. It looks like Spectre is somewhere deep in this area. In Tomoki Tower, I think. If we can capture Spectre, then we can stop all of the broadcasts. Be sure to get him. Okay, gotcha! Oh, and one more thing. Tomoki should be with Spectre, too. Oh, that guy with the strange head. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what he's up to, but you'd better be careful. Yeah, he has a strange head. It's like his skull is, is holding that afro up or something. I don't know. That's not any stranger than your hair, kid. Yeah, no kidding. At least he doesn't have to, at least he doesn't have to dunk his head into, like, a tub of hair gel every morning. Yeah. To go play baseball. How does that work? I don't know. Just gonna cover it up with a cap anyway. But anyway, this level tries to get you to use a cyber ace, but whatever. We'll do it here. There's three UFO monkeys here. You can uh, stun lock them before they get into it, but... Yeah. We'll just show off the midair and how overpowered this morph is. Like all of them. Like all of them. Yeah. So, uh... Not a lot. Not a lot here. <coughs> the monkeys can't even hit me from up here. <laughs> That's that. They have uh, stupid hats on and laser guns. This is a futuristic city. Uh, the name of the level is uh, Future City Tomoki, by the way. You know, I'm just kind of thinking, in every Episcape game, wouldn't you think that they would have, like, the military or something come in? Or do you think, like, just one time they completely ignored it until Spike already took care of the problem and then they figured, okay, these monkeys are not a threat <laughs> at all. Why should we even bother? Uh, in Ape Escape 2, they took over a military base. The monkeys did. Yeah, sure they did. Because tiny, suspicious-looking monkeys are really gonna get past assault rifles. Very much, yeah. Hey, they got machine guns. And punching attacks. And a significant lack of bulletproof armor. Anyway, this monkey is... Oh, I should mention a lot of the monkeys in this level have afros. In fact, why not? I think you know what? I think that's actually pretty cool. I think it's cool too, but uh, 
I think over half of them do. More games need monkeys with afros. Yeah, I'd go, I'd go for that. This is a pretty hard monkey to catch if you don't sneak up on him, though. He, uh, he has really high alertness, and he'll uh, run into those pods over there. And he'll keep going back and forth between the levels. The easy way to catch this one is to stunlock him before he gets in the pod and runs away from you. And that's that. So, you know, to keep breaking the game. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, some of the new enemies, these shield guys, teleboards. You can break the shield by just shooting it enough. But the best I was way... about to say, like, the Sniper Joe's Mega Man, but I guess not. Uh, they'll turn or they'll... The shield will break, um, but it takes a lot of bullets. And, uh, eventually, if you just keep kind of shooting at it or whatever, they'll turn around and shoot, expose themselves, and shoot you with their sprite gun or whatever. I'm trying to think of what these look like, They're these cars. really flat cars. I know, but they look like, again, a movie How, reference. Who the fuck could fit in those, anyway? People who are laying down. I don't I think that might even be a little bit too, uh, too big for them. Flat Stanley. Also, I uh, gotta dodge those signs, otherwise you'll fall. Best way of transportation. We should have that in real life. I have a feeling that there would be a lot of fatalities. But hey, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad deal. All right. Monkey director with afro. More bowl cut. I don't know, whatever. And is there something in that box? They're just items. More. Because it looked like there was like a kind of... Those, what am I trying to say? Those like lines that cartoon or anime characters will have that pop out of their heads. are just like, oh, I noticed something. Yep, yep. But then maybe I was just seeing that, or maybe it just no, that's the in the there. That's just that's in there to show that K can interact with something if you stand next mm. to it long enough. In case you can't figure it out yourself, if you see a box in a video game probably destroyable, especially if it's, like, sitting by itself out in the middle of nowhere. If it's with a whole bunch of other stuff, maybe not. Like, with other crates. Here are the four hardest monkeys in the game to catch, by the way. They have horrible hit detection. <coughs> it takes me around... Oh, there's a jacket in there, too. Um, it takes... Wow, oh, I'd have. I think I, it took me about an hour and thirty minutes to catch all four of these. Yeah. Yeah. The best way to do this is there is no best way. Just hope it works. Yep. Just keep swinging till you get them. You got. You want to try to get behind them. Like, line up with them. Right. Your morphs will not help you at all here. Which is the very first time that happens. I keep trying some of the morphs, but uh, they don't work. Hmm. Yeah. So, I had to ride this about 40 times. I was getting really fed up. I got one there. Mm -hmm. And then, 20 minutes later, got that one. That's two. There's the third one. <laughs> Man, I was... You have no idea how fucking pissed off I was by this time. And that's that. So finally we can progress into level two hours it, later in the recording. Let's enter Tomoki. Tomoki's golden statue, anyway. I would hope we weren't entering Tomoki. He's got these flaming piles of... Whatever that is. It looks like It looks kind of like... Oh, I was just going to say. And that was the best possible way to do it. Yeah. You can't destroy these. So much use out of the super hoop. I think your super hoop would probably, like, 
I, I don't Gilead? think it would be very useful here. Just, I don't know. Or anywhere, for that matter. Yeah, good point. So, bomb enemies. Yeah. Did you... That one even walked away from you before yeah. exploding. That's... I mean, even in, like... The bomb, the bomb bombs will just keep chasing you until they blow up. I mean, you can outrun them, but... Oh, falling platforms, by the way. The timing on these are... They, they, uh, they fall pretty quickly. So, Skyflyer. Use it. <coughs> Any hard platforming puzzle? Use the Skyflyer. Basically, yeah. Oh, and here's a puzzle. Okay, so I wonder what we do here. Oh, there's racing stripes here. Maybe we should use our pudding. Make the elevators here. And then get on the elevator with our pudding. And blow up our pudding, because... My pudding. God damn it, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but the pudding, uh... The pudding will save us from this monkey with a gun. Did you just say his... that that's not a man's hairstyle? Yeah, I think so. That's an afro, bro. That is the manliest hairstyle. Next to the pompadour. Yeah, there was that... There were, I've seen a couple of video game girls have, uh, afros there. Catherine, uh, Twilight Princess. Some. Not that. Uh, I think there are some females who have it. Well, let's beat my. All I'm saying is. Or did he have that? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know things about movies. I think Samuel L. Jackson had an afro in, what was it, Pulp Fiction? Which I never saw because I'm Is very, that the one with I'm the just fight very club? boring. I don't think so. I think the thing with the Fight Club was Fight Club. Oh, okay. <laughs> I watched part of that, but uh, yeah, movies. We don't watch them. Oh, by the way, the my, most informative Let's Play. <laughs> my movie, my uh, morph gauge. Look at how many morph stocks I'm missing. I'm missing four. Do you know what this means? I can only use my morph six, seven more times. Oh my god, this game is and, uh, so the hard. Best, the best way to kill robot monkeys, pudding. <laughs> so let's to do be that. fair, pudding is the best way to kill most things. So let's do that. The RC car is the best weapon. Especially once it turns into pudding. Yes. It actually is, because uh, the pudding has a special side effect where it will explode and do more damage. It'll also stun monkeys for a longer time. Even though that one just unstuns the monkey. Well, I hit him with it. So. Oh well. More platforming. Let's see how well I can do here. Ah, oh, that seems pretty easy. Ah, eh, we can do this. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can do this, no problem, though. It's just some easy platforming, it's just... Use a Skyflyer. Should be fine. It's fine. And we got a buzzsaw on the statue, for some and reason. And more Prince of Persia jokes. Hard puzzles. I'm, I'm down to one cookie, so I'm a little bit paranoid here, but let's get some mon monkey. Hoping that would drop a cookie, but, oh uh, well. And I'm down to half a cookie. You know, I, know, I think we made this joke before, but um, rubbing cookies over your body to help your blistering wounds really helps quite a bit. I think the military uses medical cookies. No, that was, that was retarded. I apologize for that. So he has a giant statue of himself within the giant statue of himself. Yes. With, uh, a button on his butt that we have to press. That is... Also, his crotch shoots, uh, flames. Uh... 
there, there's some, there's just so many jokes I can make with that, but. I can't believe I got hit by that. That was, that was embarrassing. Anyway. It shoots a monkey out, breaks some glass, shoots a, and uh, lets down a golden ball of whatever the fuck that is. One of his many golden balls, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't know why he has a golden ball inside himself. But anyway, it shoots out a golden monkey with an afro. The best kind of golden monkey. Or the best afro monkey is a gold. I don't, yeah, whatever. The best afros are golden afros. Didn't we already have a Spider-Man joke? Yeah, uh, Didn't the spider same monkey? costume. Yeah. Except he's actually on a building instead of not on a set piece. So this is the real spider monkey, as we can clearly see. Well, yeah, he's really good at doing it, too. And he'll start, dan start dancing, and he'll fall down into a chair down below. This chair, this chair. Let's watch our genie dance. I don't think that requires the devil horns, but all right. I thought I was going to fall there, but oh well. We got Riley. Oh. Uh, ben Riley. I get it. I don't get it. In the Spider-Man comics, there was a, um... This really long segment called the Clone Saga that nobody likes because it went on for way too long, and basically there was a clone of Peter Parker called Ben Riley. And Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Yes. Okay. The more I... you know. Yeah. All right. I'm probably gonna forget it after we do this recording, but hey, whatever. I just I don't actually read comic books, but for some reason I know a lot of comic book trivia. Just because I watch a lot of people who talk about comic books. Also, I'm getting hit with golden balls. So I wonder if I could... Oh. This puzzle is kicking my ass. I think everybody gets hit by golden balls once in a while. I do quite often. So, uh, platforms. They, uh... Platforming and a platformer. Who would have guessed? Just use the sky fly. Might as well. You don't have to, but uh, we're just one of these wimpy monkeys that uh, has an afro. I actually do like the wimpy monkeys. They're probably my favorite type. Because they don't require effort to catch? Well, they don't require effort to catch, and usually they're kind of cute. I like their eyes. They look sad. But that's just because I'm sad. Also, fucked up that platforming. Let's fast forward through this shit. <coughs> and in case you need health, this is uh, a place where you can kill a whole bunch of baddies. There's an uh, infinite spawning thing here. Mm. And fill up your morph gauge, too. Well, let's enter the statue and let's uh, encounter probably the hardest platforming this game has. We're in, uh, and go meet God, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> yeah. That's I was gonna say we're in heaven. Even though we were in that in an earlier level, if you can remember that. No, I do not. Yeah. I remember something weird about monkeys and rabbit suits dancing around carrots or pumpkins. Yeah, was, I think it was the same episode. But anyway, uh Lots of so it's funny that Hydro Shura is just going to pass by you on the way and storm in with an army of demons. That would be the... Th this game would be the best ever. Here's a really hard monkey. He's got uh, a scatter laser gun. Probably the most dangerous type of laser gun. A rapid firing scatter laser gun. Yep. And it shoots uh, lots of bullets, hard to dodge. And uh, when you're platforming right before that, you can easily get knocked off and have to start from the beginning of the room again. <laughs> now, I'm trying to use the Wild West Kid. The problem with the Wild West Kid is it does shit for damage. Mm -hmm. It's not knocking this arm. Because, as we all know, the guns are inferior to stun club. Yes. 
to be fair, I guess though. you can make the argument that they're not supposed to kill the monkeys. Yeah, but also the guns. So probably supposed the guns to be only shoot uh, like slingshot balls. I don't know how that works, but hey, whatever. It's Ape Escape. Yeah. I think we tried to stop reasoning out this game. And, is it um, a missile pack now, or is that just a scarf? That's just a scarf. Yeah, just a scarf. So right now he's just a fast monkey. Once you knock off his shit, he's pretty easy to catch. You can piss off the monkey and have him lunge at you too, and that's an easy way to get catch him. <laughs> just bop him on the head a few times, he'll try to lunge at you, just dodge him real quick by doing a sidestep. I'm trying to think of a giant robot that these guys look like other than Gundam. Uh, they're dressed, cosplaying monkeys. In heaven. Sounds like a... They got run over by a bus on the way to the convention. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have my wish. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, Stone Club. I think you can also use RC car. I don't. I don't think it does much damage, but uh, if you want, I think if they shoot the pudding, RC car it does quite a bit. There we go. You flew right into my stun club. Hovered right in my stun club. Did that only take one hit? Yep. Hmm. Most of their armor comes off in one hit. I think it was an Ape Escape Two that had monkeys that had took multiple hits to knock off their armor. But that might have been difficult, and we can't have that in Ape Escape 3. Uh, Ape Escape 2 being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Didn't have morphs, but it was it was pretty easy still. Okay, so that might have been slightly challenging, and we can't have that in Ape Escape 3. Yeah, exactly. I don't get why you can't have this be in a whole game. the just... longest cutscene in the game. Welcome to my exquisite lair! <gasps> Dr. Dr. Tomoki! That's right! That's right, kids! <laughs> so sorry to disappoint. Five Mr. points! Is no here. He's quite busy, you know. well, this no needs to be a real game show, either. just Dr. Tomoki. Starts with like a Paper Mario thing where just a random thwomp comes out and asks you a bunch of questions. <laughs> The Spectre TV project that you two tried to stop was just the Also, I like how he picks his hair instead of his nose. I forgot. Yes, right here. Um, the real thing that they were planning in this game. We will launch from our giant base in orbit around the Earth. It's pretty impressive on how great of a plot this is. That is quite enough. Well, if it isn't, my dear friend, Mr. Spectre... I don't know if I can explain it better than this cutscene can, though. And their mangy dog. You just stay there and watch this. Indeed I will. Indeed. I'm so sorry. Indeed. But your time is now up. Now, a competent villain would just smash them into the ceiling, but then the game would be over. Yeah. See, we originally had different protagonists, but then that happened. They had to re record the whole game. Best mecha ever. Tomoki Logan. <laughs> it's not fair! I need at least this much firepower to fight with you two. Yeah, because we're so bad at it. Another way. I'm showing respect to you both for making it this far. Huh? It's from Aki. I don't know why that reminds me of the Katamari Damacy guy. I thought that you two might be able to make good use the king, of the robot. Uh, the king of the cosmos. About now. Use these in your fight. Doctor Tomoki is the one true god. <laughs> Ah, so much for the FSM. <coughs> also, Flying Head! <laughs> War games just need disembodied Flying Heads. Yep. Oh right, Castlevania had that. I take it back. Medusas. 
Also, uh, this boss fight. You Seems have like to use this. Ass. Yeah, it, you have to use this fucking robot thing. How you defeat Tomoki is rushing into him with the robot, because this is all the robot can do. So essentially, I'm gonna headbutt you. Yes, uh, he shoots off. You headbutt the bigger head. Yeah, he shoots off little missiles, and um, he also shoots out of his gun a little bit. And he does a luxury beam attack. And you can dodge this by jumping with the robot, but I forgot how to jump with the robot. It's probably something really simple, like just an L button or an R button. Uh, actually, you need to push both of the joysticks together. You mean the joystick buttons or the- No, you need to slap them both inwards, towards each other. That's weird. Yes, it's very- it doesn't work very well. Because jumping will make you jump out of the robot. So I had to take all the hits, but you don't take any damage because you're in the robot. And you don't take any damage when you're in a vehicle. So I just gotta curl up in a ball and hope he doesn't hit me until a robot comes down. A new one. How many times do you get to say that in your life? I just gotta curl up in a ball until a robot comes down. I don't know. I think this is the first time. Probably the last time, too. Which is a shame, because real life needs more giant robots. He didn't actually have an afro. Blasphemy. Backstory. The monkey helmet research team with the professor. Then one day, during an experiment, an accident caused my head to well become like this. That's what did it. What led my life astray. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. I know you want to. Oh, you poor man. You became bald. That's the worst possible fate. <laughs> oh, Tomoki! Your, your head! <laughs> you are a monkey in a suit. Don't laugh at him! That's all I have to say. And time for the oh, angst of this game. Who couldn't laugh at that? Because every anime needs Who angst. I like angst in some cases, but not the stupid type of angst. <laughs> like, oh no, I'm bald, so I became evil. Yeah, so much for... It. Yeah, this instead of... I don't know why you would find this compelling instead of, like, uh... I don't know, I'm not a fucking human. I'm just a copy. Don't leave a comment referencing that, by the way. No spoilers. I'll help you. But first... Please shake my hand. Your kind words meant a lot to me. Now we're friends. Take you to Mr. Spectre's place. <laughs> Space Tomoki, Mark One. Also, the best part of this game. We burn this entire city <laughs> to launch into space. With a giant Afro statue. Yes. Look, you two. We can see it now. The moon. Look carefully. Well, we got out of Earth's orbit quite That's fast. That's no moon. This is huge. Spectre, do you mean to tell me... That's right. That's where Mr. Spectre is. Right there in Space Station Sutter 3. Prepare for entry. Okay. So, that was the best scene yep. ever. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So, after that great cutscene, uh, let's check out Yumi's cyber ace. She's a magical girl. Uh, okay. Same song, This is though. not a furry. She also changes hair color, uh... I don't know why, but whatever. Because Sailor Yumi, I don't know. Yep, pretty much. And do you really need any more explanation than that? I don't know. She has a stance with her wand thing, too, though. Whatever. They both play the same, though. Despite looking weird. Yep. And looking even weirder. I'm actually not sure which one looks stupider. I think they both look pretty stupid. And 
we have to show off all the mechanics. Even the crouching in all of the morph forms. And that's that. And I th both of the cuts, uh, the last couple cutscenes had uh, Yumi in it as well, so they're they're the same. Okay, gotcha. Just a few lines here. And that's it. So we'll have to do the next and the final level. Final in quotation marks. Spoilers. Afro statue. Yes. Launching into space. It has an Afro statue inside an Afro statue. With heaven on top of it. The best game. Yep. The best game. I think the best part of the statue, though, is that it's pointing up at the same time. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to point to the moon and fly there. <laughs> while my afterburners burn this entire city to the ground. <laughs> After my Gurren Logan mech gets blown up. <laughs> that is a good mech, too, though, with the, with the hair. I think every mecha show would be better if it had afros on the giant robots. This is why Tomoki is the best character in Apex Game 3. <laughs> he has a giant afro statue that launches into space. Yes. <laughs> Just the best game. Yep. The best game. But he's a faker. He doesn't have his own afro. <laughs> Just a fake one. My life was destroyed when I lost my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was like voice acting for this game? Oh, they didn't hire voice actors. They got people off the streets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, what then, then? What do you think it was like being somebody off the streets for this game? Um. Well, they finally got a warm meal. So they probably would. They they were probably pretty good about the game. They they got fed, <laughs> and they had a place to stay in the building for a couple hours. <laughs> <sighs> what I'm saying is they're homeless. Just in case you didn't catch that. <sighs> Afros. And I feel like the voice actors for K and Yumi were actually. Like kids of the development team, or kid, not kids of the development team, but kids of the localization team. Yeah, probably. Actually, Yumi's voice actor is somebody famous. I forgot who though. Fuck. Whatever. Mm. I'll probably look that up later, but I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put in an annotation, but then you'll just like scratch out the annotation of another annotation saying, "I said I didn't care." Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to do that. <laughs> we'll All just right. have the answer show up very briefly, and then that annotation will be covered by another annotation. Yeah. Okay, so join us next last... last blah, well, it won't be the last time you see us for this Let's Play, but it will be the final level. In <sighs> space. In space! And we get to finally reveal Spectre's hidden plot to take over the world besides just stupid monkeys. TV shows. With monkeys. Yes. But, I mean, it's it's literally the best plot for taking over the world I have ever heard. Geek, you should be excited. Uh, I'm, I am excited. Okay, well, we'll have to visit that next time. But I think we'll have a very hard time topping Afro Space Statue. It might have a hard time topping that, but in sheer idiocy, I'm pretty sure the Don't. the plot is going to top that, yeah. <sighs> so, that's that. Bread to <clears throat> rights. <laughs> what to rights? <laughs> <laughs>